Welcome back to part seven. In this group, I have fully posable Disney princess dolls, like Anna and Elsa, and Merida and her mother, Queen Eleanor. Let's make some room and open them up. First bag, Anna and Elsa. I bought this by mistake. This bag was $7.99. I thought it was $2.99. I would never pay that much. That's a bit pricey, but I think it's because Anna is fully clothed. Oh my goodness, she's beautiful. Her hat is so cute. I think this is the original braid. I love the color of her cape. It's so soft. Her outfit is very well made. She really looks authentic to the movie. Her elbows bend. Hello, everybody. And her wrists bend too. Let's have a look at her legs. Take the boot off. Ooh, the ankles bend. The knees, fully posable. That's the beauty of Disney Store dolls. They're so well made. Wow, she's in like new condition. This is so awesome. Let's get a close up of her face. Oh, she's so beautiful. I love the freckles and her smile. Those are awesome buttons on her cape. I'm glad I bought her, even though it costs more than I'd normally pay. Now for Elsa. She's not in the same condition as Anna. No clothes. This is an odd skin tone, even for Elsa. It's like a pale lavender white. Elbows and wrists bend, and knees and ankles. Her hair's a mess, lots of short pieces. Something's tied or glued here. I'll figure this out later. Her face, I love the lavender eyeshadow. It matches her skin tone. Sit beside your sister. Next, I have two princesses in this bag. This one is Belle. Such a pretty face. Oh my gosh, so much hair. Bendable elbows and wrists, knees and ankles. Okay, this hair, it's a mess. Oh. There's an original ponytail. Oh, and the bun. It's perfectly intact. How about that? Let's get a close up of this face. She's beautiful. Love her eyes and lips. After her hair repair, she'll look awesome. You can sit beside Elsa. And this one is Sleeping Beauty. So much hair. And she has her crown. Bendable elbows and wrists. Bendable knees and ankles. Her hair is messy, but it's in really good condition. I can't believe she still has her crown. She's beautiful. She just needs her hair recurled and she'll look gorgeous. The two beauties can sit together. Next is Merida. Ooh, get this hair out of the way so we can see her face. Love her expression. Gorgeous hair color. Such a vibrant red. There's so much of it. This is her original dress. Bendable elbows and wrists, knees and ankles. You know how much I love bendable elbows and knees. Her face. I love, love, love her smirky little smile. Very confident and mischievous. This hair is going to be a challenge to fix, but I can do it, right? Sit her down here. Next, I have mother and daughter. 
Queen Eleanor, Merida's mother. She's in great condition, lots of hair. This is her original dress. So lucky to have found her. Bendable elbows and wrists, knees and ankles. Let's get a closer look at her face. I love her ears. Merida has the same ears. They both have bigger ears than the others. This is the only Queen Eleanor I've seen in all my years of thrift shop hopping. You sit beside Merida. This Merida, oh my gosh. Looks like the previous owner took off her eyes. Maybe they were going to repaint them? I don't know. This doll is exactly like the other Merida doll, except no eyes. Hmm. I think the hair may be different. This hair feels softer. I actually need this doll. I need her body for this Merida. This Merida's hand is all chewed up. Looks like teeth marks of a child. I didn't notice this when I bought her. This one doesn't have bendable knees and ankles like this one. So I'm going to switch the body. I'll show you how to do that at the end of this video. These are all the dolls from this group. They all have the Disney name stamped on their backs and they're all fully posable. Okay, let's do the body switch. The previous owner attempted to take off her head and broke a piece off the neck. I'm going to show you how to properly take off a doll's head without damaging it. First, you have to soften the head in hot water. Leave it in for three minutes or until the head is soft. Okay, her head is really soft. Squeeze and pull gently. There, too bad about this. Now this Merida's turn. I took off her arm and hand. If I really wanted to, I could just replace these parts, but I wanted her to have bendable knees and ankles too. Okay, three minutes in the hot water. Do the same thing as with the first doll. Squeeze and pull gently. Ooh, her head is harder to pull off. There, no damage to the head or neck. Now to get it on her new body. Just push it on. Perfect. You can barely see the broken part. Tilt her head down and you can't see it at all. She looks great. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. If you like this video, click like. Check out this video. These body parts just pull off. Get a good grip and there. That was easy. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Wow, I'm like a brand new doll.